we have uh, our dearest guests here today. And I would like to start with uh, Mr. Vladimir Shucha, uh, the head of the European Commission representation in Bratislava. And I would like now to introduce you to our keynote speaker, Olivia Kurbanova. We have to strike the right balance between uh, bolstering uh, confidence and uh, cultivating intellectual humility and positive skepticism. So we try to give every student's perspective a value, so every student is being heard. The other way how we can do it is by uh, modeling the right behavior. So for example, me as an educator, I can demonstrate a confidence in the area of my expertise, but at the same time, uh, I can uh, express or demonstrate uh, intellectual humility, but, I, but by admitting that I do not have all the answers. So entering every possible interaction with this mindset that I can be wrong. So entertaining the possibility that uh, maybe what I think is right could be proven wrong and I'm open to it. Everything should be supported with evidence. So if I have evidence for my claims, yeah, uh, so then the better evidence uh, wins. Well, we have the pleasure to have the winners with us today, so it is my pleasure to call on stage Anne Yvonne, Maria Lorenza, Matilde and Mercedes. Could you come on stage? Well, I would like now to call on stage the protagonists of this innovative project, and we have here today Natalia, Justina and Monica. And the winners are also here today with us. Jean-Noël and Tatiana, please come on stage. Cornelia, on you. For me, uh, when I look at uh, the competencies, uh, key competencies, by European Commission, for me number one is personal, social and learning to learn competence because it is like the first step uh, for us then to, to be open to, to others, maybe to recognize uh, emotions in others, to be able to collaborate, communicate, you know, empathize with them. But, but I would say that all this is connected by, by one important skill or it, and it's curiosity. <laughs> so, because when we are curious about ourselves, then we develop self-awareness and self-regulation. I would, I would suggest uh, to give opportunity to students to experience project-based learning <laughs> every year, because then they are connected to life. They can collaborate, communicate, they have autonomy. The biggest advice is be a lazy teacher. So let students do what they can and so that not you as a teacher come home tired, but students because they were exposed to active learning. I would like to thank every East winner and every national support organization member that was here in, present in this event. The success of this event shows that the community continues growing stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. 